now joined by the coach of the Mustangs, Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, I know that you probably wanted to pull away with a victory, but the effort from your team today to battle the number four team in the country, to have the opportunity to be tied up with five minutes to play, uh, this young team, 19 freshmen, the way that they've come together these last couple weeks, I imagine it's it's giving you an awful lot of pride despite the result. Sure. You know, this was a victory in so many ways, although it wasn't a victory on the scoreboard. I think it's, it's such a psychological victory, an emotional victory for our team. Um, this group works really hard, and we've asked a lot of first-year players to come out there and uh, just play hard, play through mistakes. We've asked um, a, a lot of our players to just step up in roles, you know, a, across the field and really deliver the best play they can and show the best confidence they can because you're only as strong as your leadership. And right now we have some wonderful leaders out there on the field and those leaders are just confident and caring. And as a freshman looks to their teammate who's who's a, a team captain or a leader on the field and they they show that things are going to be okay and we're doing great or you're doing great you know that just takes us such a long way so although I'm disappointed because I think we could have gotten this one um you know I just told the girls in the locker room we really forced that goalie to save their to save their to save their win and um you know being in, if they're num the number four team in the country they played big when they had to we're learning to do that and, you know, we had the cause turnover at the end. Mm -hmm. We had some shots at the end. Um, we did everything we needed to do to, to give them the best run, I think. And a couple of calls on free position tries where it looked like somebody jumped early and they didn't. Yeah, you know what? I'll be the one to say it. I won't oh. get you in any trouble. Yeah, yeah I won't get you I, in I, any we, trouble. The, the officials and I were going out <laughs> after because we've had so many conversations on the field today. We're yeah. thinking about, you know, going for a beer in a little bit because... <laughs> Wow. Uh, it was a little wow yeah. it, sometimes today. And I thought that there were some interpretations that were I, I did not agree with. So um, I'll have those conversations, as I do, because, yeah. you know, I love the game of lacrosse, and, I, and I'm passionate about the rules, and, and, I, and I like to make sure that the officials know the way I think. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I didn't have MC here to scream right. about it, so right. I had to be a little more politically right. correct. All right, um, let's talk. You brought up two defensive players to chat with us. Not a surprise. The defensive effort. This was a team that was scoring basically 20 goals per game. Right of late and yet you allowed one in the first half eight for the game uh what else can you say about the defensive effort from this team you know i knew it yesterday i knew we were going to be in great shape yesterday we had a very cerebral practice yesterday where we worked hard for 10 or 15 you know 10 or 15 seconds at a time at a group and they were they were listening to what i was saying they were going out there and executing and it could not have shown more out there today than the def on the defensive end that we had a game plan and we stuck with the game plan um, and you know that that's all we can hope as coaches that they understand what we're saying that they are that they buy into what we're saying um, and then they go out there and they do the best that they can to execute I thought we executed like a top five team to, on the defensive end today I thought today that we came really close to that very same thing on the offensive side um, we're, we're closing in on it and what the greatest thing Glenn is we're closing in on it so fast yeah. that we just uh, we can't wait to get into conference and show what we can do well, it's only about a week away yes. uh coach i would say i know it sounds weird to say congratulations as we're gonna let you go we're gonna talk to mac and we're gonna talk to gabby yeah. but Congratulations on the effort. Congratulations on where your team has gone. And we didn't get a chance to say congratulations on win number 200. Oh, so congratulations on that. Thank you. Well. I think it just means I'm old. That's all. But thank you. Stop. Thank you very much. Thank you, Coach. Right. Appreciate it.